Okay, now question four. Um, at 30 degrees Celsius, the volume of mercury in a capillary tube is 0 0.1 centimeter cube, and the cross sectional area of the tube is 2 millimeter square. Given the coefficient of volume expansion for mercury, okay, volume expansion, uh, gamma equal to 1.8 exponent negative 4 per kelvin calculate the height of the mercury column in the tube at 42 degree celsius okay so um, this is about volume expansion okay uh, given given you the gamma or the coefficient of volume expansion gamma for mercury 1.8 exponent negative 4 okay so i already have the gamma uh, so the 30 degrees Celsius is the uh, initial temperature. Okay, let's label that. We already have the initial temperature, uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Volume of the mercury is 0 0.1. So that is the initial volume. Okay, but in centimeter cube. So you need to change to SI unit. Uh, and then the cross-sectional area is 2 millimeter square. Uh, this is the cross-sectional area. Uh, it seems that the area is constant. Yeah, area is constant all the time. Um, area is in millimeter square. So again, you have to change to meter square. Uh, find the height of the mercury column at 42 degrees Celsius. So this is the final height the question asks. Yeah, the question asks for final height. So at 42 degrees Celsius. So apparently, this is the final temperature. Okay? Now, so put it, put that uh, in the, the uh, yeah, we gather the information. So we have the initial temperature, 30 degrees Celsius, initial volume, 0 0.1 centimeter cube, the centi cube, centimeter cube, the centi is negative 2, centi is negative 2, but uh, then we have cube, centi, uh, centi to the power of 3, so centi is negative 2, negative 2 times 3, you get negative 6. Uh, this is the uh, in meter cube. So this is the initial volume. Then the final temperature, 42 degrees Celsius, we don't have the final volume. That's what we need to find. Okay? And this capillary tube is actually, we have mercury in the capillary tube. This is actually like a thermometer, you know? Thermometer. Uh, when you heat it from 30 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius, um, of course, the volume will expand. The volume of the mercury will expand. Okay, when expand, uh, this mercury will rise. Will rise. The height of the mercury column in the tube will rise. Uh, okay? So that's what we want to find, the final height. Okay? But uh, initially, we have already had the initial volume. So, to find the final height, we need to find the final volume. Yeah, we need to find the final volume first. Uh, this is about volume expansion of mercury. So, we can imagine the capillary tube like the thermometer, you know. So, this is actually the thermometer. Uh, thermometer is actually a cylinder. Cylinder shape. So, the volume is what shape? Volume of the mercury is under what shape? Is, it is a cylinder. Uh, cylinder, so it is, um, I've given you the area of the tube, okay? Area is uh, 2 millimeter square, okay? Change that to uh, SI unit. Area is constant all the time. You know, the, the, the thermometer, the area con is always constant, yeah? Assume to be constant, lah, yeah? Um, 2 millimeter square. So milli under square, okay, milli under square. So milli is negative 3, negative 3 times 2, get negative 6, negative 6. So this is the area, is constant. So area is constant, what changes is only the height of, height of the mercury. So the volume of the mercury inside the capillary tube, yeah, volume of the mercury is area times height, uh, height of the length of the mercury column. So volume is equal to A times height, height or 
or length. Lah, yeah? It's uh, height or length. It's the same. So volume is area times height. So, uh, so here the area is a uh, constant. Okay, area is considered to be constant. So what we need to find is the uh, final volume. We need to find the final volume to get the final height of the mercury column. Okay, so um, now, so we need to find the first find the final volume. Okay, final volume. So uh, to find the final volume, just use the formula. Volume final volume equal to V F equal to V naught one plus gamma delta t. Uh, so volume we use gamma. Yeah. Volume we use gamma, so times delta t. Delta t is final temperature minus initial temperature. Okay, so let's sub all the information inside. Yeah. Uh, so v naught is a uh, zero point one zero exponent negative six. Uh, this one here, this value in meter cube. Okay, in meter cube, and then we have a uh, Multiply 1 plus gamma. What is our gamma? Our well, gamma is 1.8, negative 4. Okay, let's put that inside. 1.8, negative 4. And then what is our final temperature? Final temperature is 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, 42 degrees Celsius minus our initial temperature is uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, so final minus initial final minus initial temperature the hot temperature minus the cold temperature okay so from here we can get uh yeah another thing is uh the temp the temperature you can maintain as uh degree celsius yeah uh you can maintain as uh degree celsius no need to change to kelvin as i said before for the change in temperature Change in temperature, you can either degree Celsius or Kelvin, both accepted. Okay, so no need to change to Kelvin. Okay, so you can you just use the degree Celsius minus degree Celsius. Uh, you still get the same changes of temperature, even you change to Kelvin. Okay, so just put degree Celsius minus degree Celsius. Okay, so uh, okay, after we calculate the final answer, uh, is um. 1.00216 that's the final volume uh, exponent uh, negative 7 meter cube ah that's our final volume okay final volume now we need to find the uh, we need to find the final height okay uh, we do got the final volume so it's time to find the final height of the Sorry, the final height of the mercury column. So, yeah, uh, the final height is 1.00216 exponent negative 7. And the area of the mercury column is uh, 2 exponent negative 6 meter square. Or you change to SI unit. Okay, 2 exponent uh, negative 6 meter square already in SI unit. Okay. So our final height, okay, uh, yeah, what is our final height? So final height, we calculate, we will get 0 0.0501 meter. Uh, this one in meter, SI unit. If you want to change to centimeter, just multiply 100. Uh, multiply 100, you get 5.01 centimeter. Uh, that's the final height of mercury column in the thermometer. Okay, at what temperature? Uh, this final height uh, occurs at the final temperature of final temperature of forty two degrees Celsius. Uh, this height, uh, so this height, this final height of mercury will record the final temperature of 42 degrees Celsius on the thermometer. Okay, uh, this, this height will give you the final temperature of 42 degrees Celsius on the thermometer. Okay, that's how we do it. Okay, uh, just so uh, make sure 
this one you use volume expansion when you use volume you use gamma okay final temperature minus initial temperature and then the thermometer uh, the mercury volume is uh, area times height so if the question asks for the height um, this question ultimately still need find need to find the volume first yeah we find the final volume first before you can arrive at the final height of the mercury column okay uh, remember the changes in temperature uh, you can no need to change to kelvin you can maintain at degree celsius okay uh, only when you goes to like the pv equal to nrt or the charles law that one the single temperature uh, you must change to kelvin if you have two two temperature yeah two point temperature about the changes of temperature two temperature no need to change to kelvin maintain at you can maintain at degrees celsius okay so that's all for this question thank you